Motorcycle Melee presents 2018 Triumph Street Twin Coloring Tire Lettering with Tire Ink Permanent Markers. There are straightforward instructions on how to use the tire ink permanent marker. First, clean the tires. Two, shake the pen. Three, prime the marker by pressing the tip down on a hard surface. And then four, paint the lettering being careful to stay within the raised lettering of your tires. So the first thing I did was I washed the tires. I just used Dawn dish detergent. It's good at removing grease from dishes, so it's good at removing grease from the tires. So that's what I did. I just washed them with hot water and a sponge just to try to get any surface grease off. And then I'm um, gonna rinse it off just to make sure I don't have any of the soapy residue left. So we'll just rinse it so that uh, the idea is to try to make sure that where I'm going to put the, the marker that I won't have a, or I'll have no grease or minimum grease on the lettering. So the idea is kind of right here where it says Continental. I will use the orange marker on the Continental and then uh, on the other side if you can see it can't see it here, but on the front tire you can. So we'll rinse off the front tire now to try to remove any grease. So right here it says Conti Road Attack 3. You can see that now that it's wet. Rinse that a little bit more to get some of the, make sure there's no resi residual grease. And Continental here. Dawn dish detergent is really concentrated, so some of the soap is left behind, trying to get that off. Just to make sure that when I use the orange marker, there's no grease on there, preventing it from sticking or preventing the paint from staying on there. So that's that clean the tires and we'll let them dry and then after they're dry we'll go ahead and apply the orange marker. Okay so the idea is to prime the pen so we'll pop the top off. I'll attempt to top, pop the top off. So pop the top off. Prime pin here. First attempt at this. Doesn't seem to be priming very well, does it? <laughs> Some of the color is finally coming out, it looks like. You can smell it. Okay, it looks like we focus on there. There we go. We're getting some orange. And we read these instructions here. What does it say? Start by outlining the letter before filling it in. Apply ink using short one centimeter strokes, like we all can imagine a centimeter while we're doing it. With pen upright, depress the tip and release any air bubbles trapped inside. So we're gonna give this a try. Okay. 
So we'll give this a try, see how this goes. It's prime. And got some dust on there. Let's get rid of the dust first. Okay. Goes on pretty good. I did the back tire already, but I noticed that it lost focus. So we're gonna try again on the front tire. And um, the ink flows pretty good. I did notice on when I did the back tire that if you try to go back over ink that's kind of dry, it smudges. So get it on right the first time or dab it if you need to go back over it. So this goes on pretty good. Unfortunately, these letters are raised quite a bit to keep me from accidentally hitting the non-letter portion of the tire rubber. So dabbing seems to be nice. Seems like you can just do this like you would be using a magic marker on a piece of paper. Dabbing and dragging. So it's pretty bright. I feel like some, every now and then I have to dab it again to get some of the ink down at the tip of the pen, especially holding it at a sideways angle like this. But it seems to flow nice. Pretty thick, pretty fluid. Picks up even the skinniest parts of the lettering. Try to keep my hand out of the way so you can see me doing this. There's all the lettering. There's a little horse symbol there. I'm going to go ahead and give the horse symbol a whack. On the back tire, I messed up the front hoof of the horse and hit the, the regular part of the rubber, but it's okay. I was fortunate enough to hit it in a spot that it actually looks like part of the front foot, front hoof, so not too bad. And little horse symbol is pretty cool so I wanted to make sure I got it painted the orange this little tiny dash underneath and here it is the finished lettering for the word continental So that's what it looks like. Up close, it looks pretty good. Back up to standing distance and admiring distance. Looks bright enough. There's the front tire. Let's go look at the back tire. And you can see the back tire. So far, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Of course, we'll have to do road tests and so forth. So I've completed the marking up of the raised lettering on the 2018 Triumph Street Twin. And this is what it looks like. It actually looks pretty good. You can get close to it. You can read it. It does a pretty good job of covering up the letters with some pretty bright color. And again, the color orange I chose because it kind of goes along with the some of the subtle orange themes on the bike, the side panels, the thread in the custom seat, and 
and the mesh on the custom shorty fender so you can see what the orange raised lettering now looks like one one caution I will caution you if you end up getting these is when you after you've used the marker and you come back and do more as I did some earlier in the day and some later in the day when I when I was filling in the end here uh, I actually pressed the marker against the end and some of the ink splashed out and you can see the splash that went this way I had to wipe it off and I had to wipe it off really quickly with um, isopropyl alcohol um, I didn't I didn't do it quick enough and so some of the orange stays there so this is pretty permanent orange so just be careful uh, if you don't think your ink is coming out of your marker, don't squeeze it while you're on your tie or squeeze it off on a separate piece of cardboard or something so you don't have that splash like I ended up with. That's this side and then come around the other side. Again, you can, you can see the lettering. It's subtle enough, but you still get that raised colored lettering look.